dear students today we are going to discuss networking concepts of chapter 6 and uh, we are going to discuss five uh, topics first is www second is url third protocol fourth http and fifth is ftp we will discuss all these one by one now move to the next slide we have www with us since 1991 so it stand www stands for world wide web and it was invented by tim berner lee in 1989 at cern laboratory which is situated in geneva switzerland and uh, what actually www is so www is collection of interlinked documents and web resources available on the internet means all the resources which are available on the internet they are connected to one another and that makes a big web of uh, all the resources of the world that's why we call it world wide web so as shown as you can see in figure uh if we consider these small balls as resources on the web and you can see all these resources are linked with each other and we starting from any one resource any one document you can travel to all the balls through some link so it means all of these are linked to each other and we have a path from any one ball to the next ball similarly if we see all the documents which are present on the internet they are also linked to each other and we uh, we can move from one document to all other documents with the help of links and all these interlinked documents make something what is called world wide web so there is <coughs> something called hypertext so all these documents are linked with the help of hypertext you all of you may be knowing this what is hypertext jado vi tusi kadi web browser te jande ho koi website kholde ho you see ke there are um many uh, words or text which is different in color than the rest of the text generally blue in color and it's underlined and whenever you click on that text it opens another page or another image or another document so <coughs> sorry that text is called hypertext so text with link to some other document is called hypertext so same is written here hypertext is a text which is connected to some other text document image or video so resources of www are accessed by a software called web browser now if you are having this world wide web then the question comes to our mind how we can access these resources there are thousands of thousands of thousands of so millions or we can say billions of resources lying on the internet how we can access these resources how we can get these resources these documents these images these videos we can get these with the help of web browser web browser is a software it is a software which is used to access www so www is of no use if you are not having a web browser so web browser helps you to access resources from www and web browsers are um, one of the important web browser is internet explorer so it comes with windows operating system and uh, google also provide a browser that is google chrome browser similarly there is another uh, open source uh, software called firefox it is also a browser there are hundreds or uh, uh, you can say uh, there may be thousands of browsers you can use any one of 
them so mainly these three browsers are mainly used for accessing the www so it means a web browser is very important for accessing www now comes to other end on on one end where we are sitting we want to access the web page we use the web browser or we can say our web browser is a client it's a client software on the other hand on the other side there is a computer which stores all the data this is having the data which we want to access that is called the server or web server so resources are stored on the web server so in this way we use www with the help of web browser and web server so uh, in the last we can say that www and internet are two different things sometimes we uh, we get confused that it is the same thing www and internet is the same it looks the same but they are different how they are different uh, uh, you can say that if we want to use www then you need a network you need the internet www can work with the help of internet but uh, internet does not need www computers can be connected together but uh, they may be doing some other task and uh, www is a network of it is a network of interlinked documents these we these can be put on the internet and uh, so www require internet to function but internet does not require www to function so we can say that www and internet are two different things now move to the next topic which is called url so url stands for uniform resource locator so as the name suggest it is used to locate resources in the previous slide we have talked about the resources resources means anything which is text or web page or document or the image or the video or anything else which we find on the internet or on the world wide web so it is also called web address url is sometimes called web address uh, in this picture you can see that uh, it is a snapshot of uh, uh, web browser and uh, uh, in the url uh, box we had we have typed the address of a page so it's a uh, it starts from http colon forward slash forward slash www dot internet dot com so this is address of a web page or you can say its web address or uh, we can say its url uniform resource locator it is used to locate the resources on the web so it is address of the resource accessible on the internet it is most commonly used to reference web pages so each and every web page has some address so if you want to refer to some web page you have to give the address of that web page so further we will explore how a url is created so basically you, this is the url this is a url we have divided it into three parts this is first part http so http is the name of the protocol for first part will be the name of the protocol so this is hypertext transfer protocol now we come to the second part second part is the name of the server so gndu.ac.in is the name where our resource is stored and third part is the result.html so it is the name of the file which we want to access so in this way we can we can break this url into three part first part is the name of protocol we will discuss in detail next uh, in next few slides what is protocol so first of all you have to write the name of the protocol then you have you have to write the name of the server where the source is located and in the last you have to 
type the name of the file which you want to access from the server so in gndu there may be thousands of files but you, but at this moment we want to access the results dot html so this completes url next is protocol so protocol what is protocol uh, uh, we can say that it is set of rules or procedures for transmitting data between computers okay, if you want to transmit data if you are having two computers because on the network there are many computers and uh, obviously there will be need to transmit data from one computer to the other computer and a set of rules or procedures for transmitting data are known as protocol just we have to create the rules how the data will be transmitted if we look at the picture here uh, we have um, one computer on this side and another computer on this side so if they want to communicate they want to send data uh, to each other then they must be following some rules so uh, there may be one rule how to start communication how there may be second rule how to send and receive data and there may be third rule how to terminate the communication so it's just like it just like uh, you have uh, you have your agenda of talk okay, which points will be discussed in 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 your meeting so similarly whenever two computers communicate they need some pre-existing agreement they should have pre-existing agreement how to communicate how to send data how to how to make packets of data because everything which is sent on the internet it is broken and broken up into small packets and uh, there is procedure to create these packets so we can say that it can be seen as pre-existing agreement on how the data will be structured structured means what the form kedi hoye ki kiddan hi data banana hai ga jada send karna hai ga ode packets kiddan banane hai ga jada asi koi letter bhejni hundi hai te oda asi packet banana hunda ke letter de pehla letter likhde hai fir asi onu ek envelope de vich pa dene hai envelope de upar jada address likh dene hai ga ya fir utte jadi post de stamps laga dene hai fir asi onu jada hai ga sada post box de vich pa dene hai fir us to baad oh अपने डिलीवरी वास्ते तैयार हो जाता है सो स्ट्रक्चर भी बनाना है हाउ द डाटा विल बी स्ट्रक्चर्ड एंड हाउ ईच साइड विल सेंड एंड रिसीव डाटा वट हाउ वट विल सिग्नल ऑफ सिग्नल डैट वन पार्ट इज गोइंग टू सेंड डाटा वट इज द सिग्नल डैट सैकेंड पार्ट इज गोइंग टू रिसीव डाटा हाउ द एक्नोलॉजमेंट विल बी सेंड फ्रॉम द रिसीवर सो ऑल दीज थिंग्स आर डिसाइड इन ए प्रोटोकॉल सो प्रोटोकॉल इज नथिंग बट सेट ऑफ रूल्स देर आर फ्यू रूल्स विच वी लिस्ट ऑन विच वी मेक ए लिस्ट ऑफ दीज रूल्स डेट इज कॉल जस्ट प्रोटोकॉल सो देर आर मैनी प्रोटोकॉल्स सम ऑफ दीज आर रिटर्न हेयर एच टी टी पी विच इज हाइपर टेक्स ट्रांसफर प्रोटोकॉल सेकेंड इज एफ टी पी फाइल ट्रांसफर प्रोटोकॉल थर्ड इज टी सी पी आई पी ट्रांसमिशन कंट्रोल प्रोटोकॉल इंटरनेट प्रोटोकॉल एंड एस एम टी पी सिंपल मेल ट्रांसफर प्रोटोकॉल सो देर आर हंड्रेड्स ऑफ प्रोटोकॉल्स विच परफॉर्म डिफरेंट टास्क डिपेंडिंग अपॉन वेयर वी वेयर वी वॉन्ट टू यूज दीज प्रोटोकॉल्स सो फर्स्ट प्रोटोकॉल विच वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस इज एच टी टी पी सो इट स्टैंड फॉर हाइपर टेक्सट ट्रांसफर प्रोटोकॉल सो दिस इज सिंपली it is used to fetch html documents so uh jadon assi pehla url likhi hoyi hai ode vich starting de vich hi sab to pehla assi http likhya si ga so jadon vi tusi koi document koi web page fetch karna hai ga uh, world wide web to so you have to use http as a protocol so it is used to fetch htm html documents and other resources from the server it is client server protocol means there is one system is client and second system is the server so that's why it is called client server protocol so client is here and server is here so these uh, pro uh, systems client system request for data it will request for data and uh server system will receive that request and it will send the response so we can say that request for data is initiated by the recipient because this system is recipient it will receive 
the data which is web browser so web browser is running in this client system so that web browser will send the request to server and server will response respond with the required data so http we can say that is a complete document is in http complete document is reconstructed from the different sub document or resources fetched from the server like text images audio video etc so let's see whenever when web browser from this client system send the request to this system so this server system receive the request and it will send all the necessary document or resources to the client like text images audio and video and all these are assembled together by the web browser and shown us in the form of a full page where appropriate things are set at the appropriate place so that is done by all this work is done by the web browser or we can say the client so messages sent by the web browser are called request and messages sent by the server are called responses so this protocol which is used to fetch documents or resources from the server is called hypertext transfer protocol so last protocol is the ftp protocol ftp stands for file transfer protocol it is also a client server protocol there are two system one is client which send a request and the server which replies to that request and after uh, its reply a connection is established between these two systems so that file transfer takes place so this system is solely ftp protocol is used for transferring large file files with large size so it may take to transfer files uh, uh, hours it may take hours to transfer the files so it is used to exchange the computer files between client and servers connected to the network so jinne bhi servers and clients uh, connected hai gaya network de upar so they can transfer files with the help of file transfer protocol it is commonly used to download programs so major use of ftp is to download programs and other files to your computer from server so so these two protocols are uh, used for um, fetching data or you can say transferring files from one system to the other system so that's all for today's lecture just go through the lectures and uh, note the important points and uh, uh, if you find any problem you can discuss with me thank you